a renowned actor from South Korea who gained worldwide recognition for his breakthrough performance in the Oscar-winning movie Parasite, was discovered dead at the age of 48 from what appears to be a suicide. The inquiry into drugs is ongoing, and a bar hostess has accused the actor of extortion. On Wednesday morning, Lee Sun Kyun was discovered in his vehicle in a parking lot in Seoul. After discovering a suicide note, his wife, actress, and former Miss Korea John Hai Jin called the police. Police were looking into Lee's claims that he used marijuana and a substance that his accuser, a waitress at a fancy bar, thought was ketamine. She said the narcotics were taken in her house. His three interrogation appearances at police stations garnered significant media attention and were widely reported. Due to the burden of the spotlight, his attorney requested that any more questioning take place in private following his final session on December 23rd. Insisting that he had passed toxicological testing and not taken illegal substances intentionally, Lee was also demanding a lie detector test at the time of his death to determine if he or the hostess, who was only identified as A, was telling the truth. He had initiated a criminal lawsuit, claiming that she was attempting to blackmail him. I want to sincerely apologize once more for causing so many people to be concerned, he stated on October 28th at the non Hyan police station in Incheon following his initial interrogation. I will be honest in my responses to all questions. I was duped into doing narcotics by AA. I was unaware that the pills she was giving me were illicit. Like many other Asian nations, South Korea has very strong regulations prohibiting drug use. Marijuana dealers and buyers risk a minimum of one year in prison. If someone uses it, they risk receiving a fine of up to $37,600 or a prison sentence of up to five years. Following his initial police interrogation, Lee expressed regret to the public for his participation in such a dishonorable affair and promised to assist with the inquiry in a honest way. Three times in October, November 4th and December 23rd, when he showed up at the police station at 10 a.m. and spent 19 hours being questioned, Lee had been questioned. He was repeatedly accused of using marijuana, ketamine, and psychedelics. The actor claimed that a bar hostess had deceived him into taking narcotics and that she had then attempted to blackmail him. According to the Korea Herald, Lee had filed a lawsuit against the woman, alleging that she had extorted and blackmailed him for about 350 million won, $270,000. However, Lee had acknowledged that he had met the host four times and that he had used a straw to ingest a powder through his nose. He claimed he believed it to be a crushed sleeping tablet. The witness stated that she saw Lee snorting ketamine. The 20-year-old bartender who worked in Seoul's Gangnam neighborhood has not disclosed her identity. Lee's legal representative had stated last week that the actor was burdened by having to appear in front of cameras in response to a police summons and that he shouldn't be made to suffer any further public humiliation by answering questions at the police station. Police sources told local media that the interrogation on December 23rd was probably his final one. After a 19-hour session, he departed the police station early on Christmas Eve. As he exited the police headquarters on Sunday morning, Lee told reporters, I have also completed questioning as the plaintiff in the blackmail case. I hope the police use good judgment in determining the credibility of the blackmailers and my statements. Lee said that he had answered all questions sincerely during the police investigation today in response to a question about whether the actor had acknowledged the drug use accusations. Three days later, Lee was found unconscious next to charcoal briquettes inside an automobile in northern Jongyogu, Seoul, next to Waryong Park. Lee, who was born in 1975, played a wealthy family's father in the film Parasite. The movie, which also included international movie star Song Kang-ho, was a worldwide hit. 
in addition to becoming the first non-English picture to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards, it became the first Korean film to win the Palm d'Or, the top prize, at the Cannes Picture Festival. In addition, it took home three additional Oscars, Best Original Screenplay, Best International Feature Film, and Best Director. In addition, Lee had starred in several South Korean films, including the 2014 film All About My Wife and the 2012 thriller Helpless. In Apple TVA's inaugural Korean-language original series, which debuted in 2021, he played the lead character in the six-episode science fiction thriller Dr. Brain, Ko Si Won, a heartless neurologist, uses brain studies to try and piece together the details of an unexplained family disaster. When Lee starred in the well-liked Korean drama Coffee Prince in 2007, his career took off. In addition, Yoo Yun Hai, Kim Jae Wook, and Gong Yoo, who is well known for roles in Squid Game and Train to Busan, were cast in the show. He was also cast in the popular medical drama Behind the White Tower that same year. He made an appearance in the April release of the romantic comedy Killing Romance this year. The late actor portrayed Jonathan Na in the film, which was helmed by Lee Won Suk. When the project was first announced, Sun Kyun discussed starring in the comedy with the Korea Times, saying, The script was funny, silly, and experimental. I was intrigued about how director Lee Won Suk would manage the fast paced narrative and I had heard that Lee Ha Ni had already committed to the picture. Thus, he added, the two persuaded me to take on Jonathan's role. Plausibility is something I always look for when portraying a character. However, Jonathan is irrational and erratic. It felt really freeing to be able to use the character whatever I pleased. In addition, he played alongside Kim Nam Woo and Jong Yumi in the thriller Sleep. September saw the release of the movie. After marrying fellow actress John Hai Jin in 2009, Lee Sun Kyun welcomed two boys into their family, a son in November 2009 and another child in August 2011.